So you do it at LRV, you do it at URV, and then you have three more points, 10%, 50%, and 90%. This is the standard. There is also a seven point calibration, which can be used if you want, if somebody wants more accuracy, but normally five point calibration is what is used. So, zero is LRV, 100% is URV, and then you have 10, 50, and 90. Leave out 59, not required. Orifice tape, uh, plate taps for gas and liquid. We did that. Gas is at top, liquids at the side. Okay? What adjustment do you make for a transmitter signal which is non linear? Mark this question. This is something which has been asked. You do angularity correction, linear calibration or angularity calibration, right? When mercury filled meters are used to measure steam flow, why do we leave this out? 65, let's come to 65. What does a PI do? Pressure to current conversion, right? The metals used in a K-type thermocouple. Uh, thermocouple questions never have asked, been asked, so you can leave this out. So let's leave out this question. Which type of thermocouple has a magnetic? Because they, they ask, they don't expect you to remember the types of thermocouples. There are uh, about seven or eight types of thermocouples with different material metal, so not required. Displacer, we have to do that. We'll be doing this. We're not done displacer, right? I have to know. What happened to displacer? Displacer is another important topic that we have to talk about because questions will always be asked on that. You can do these, leave this out. In order to reduce the angularity errors, the input and output list, uh, levers must be parallel at mid scale. Remember, we do squaring. Squaring is done for mid scale adjustments. Method for calibrating instead of checking, just work, use this word calibrating. So you do a zero, zero ch uh, check, a span check, and an angularity check.
inclined manometer is used in preference to an upright manometer whenever you need to have an increased accuracy. Okay. Regarding to the recorders, I remember they asked like two or three questions about the charts and the different pens. They have asked the question about pens, but never have they asked. Uh, uh, did they ask the, uh, Did they give a chart also? They gave. They put a chart. A chart, and not only in the, not only in the, in the um, chart recorder, uh -huh. but also for a dew point for the. the, the that psychometric chart. That that psychometric. That's different. Yeah. We will be covering that. Psychometric chart. Yes, we will be covering. But uh, I have never seen a chart recorder, uh, uh, a graph of the chart, chart recorder. They, they put one on my desk. Well, you are the lucky one in that case. <laughs> <laughs> you very lucky, trust me. Yeah, just write them down. See, keep writing down these questions. We will be discussing them, okay? Are you writing them now? Don't forget writing them down because we'll be taking them up at, uh, at the end, okay? Okay. So, in order to reduce angularity errors, the input and output lever must be parallel with others. This, this, this one, this, this one. Equivalent head of water to one inch of mercury is 13.6 inches of water, but then uh, you can leave it. This is not something which we are need to remember. Now this is the question which was asked, question number 77. You can mark it out. Hundred volt is applied across R1 and R2 in series. If V1 is 40 volts, the current in R2 is. Can I even do it? So what we are saying is, I have R1. I have. So let us say so the voltage applied is 100 volts. So this is 100 volts. This is R1. This is R2. And the voltage V1. This is voltage V1 is equal to. 40 volts. So what is the current in R2? Shall we? How do you do that? Current across current in R2. Five hundred. How do you do that? Voltage, which was 60 volts across yeah. R2 and uh, R30 over 60. Yes. Now, if there is a volt, if since, since R1 and R2 are both in series, if voltage drop across R1 is 40 volts. And the total voltage is 100 volts, so the remaining voltage, 60 volt, will be a voltage drop across R2. 
So again, let's apply the uh, Ohm's law. Ohm's law says V2 is equal to I into R2. Now I then becomes V2 divided by R2. So 60 divided by 30 ohms. So it's 2 amperes actually. No, I have it backwards. Yeah, you had it backwards. Because if you divide the voltage to go on the other side of your equation, it's the resistance is actually on top of your voltage. Sorry? But you would be taking... Oh, I did it backwards. Yeah, Never mind. you did it backwards. No, I did it backwards. Right? I think let's take a 15 minute break. I need a coffee. Otherwise, I'll see. Uh, Shelby is already sleeping. Everybody needs a coffee. We tell you, you need a coffee? Yes, sir. I will get a coffee right now. Okay. Let's go get, a, get our coffees and then come back. No, it's just like normal break. See how there's no flicker? Should I pause it? Sure, but did she delete it? Did you clear the card? Before? Yeah. Yeah. How come there's only four hours left? I don't know. Because there should be 13. I really don't know. Now it's going to run out tonight.